Well, I think that looks a lot better. My goal is to get rid of those air bubbles, and while they're not completely gone, they're about a million times better, and the flow is still the same. Here is how I did it. This was my old exit out of the wet dry. It went down here and then down, and that created millions of bubbles. Well, we capped that off, and then we have this bottom. So we're going out here to a valve, and then just coming, that doesn't go anywhere, straight down. Okay, that's all good, and there is no hole in the top of that. I think that's a, a, a strange design when people put holes in those. Um, what the theory is here is we're cranking down this so that it is constantly full of water. No air ever. And you see there, that's where some of my stray bubbles are coming from. I'm going to have to get a little bit better bubble trap than, than that guy. Um, but you can see there, it's just constantly full of water. The water line up here is high enough where it's not pulling down a vortex of air. So we're great. That works perfect. That's where a lot of people leave it. But you get something in there, perhaps a snail, whatever, gets caught in there, gets caught in there, anywhere. This whole, this whole tube gets caught up anywhere. Guess what? We have water coming up and over. But, so that's why we have an emergency right up there. So that if the water level if that pipe can't take it all, it goes up and up and up and drains out of there. I could show you by closing that valve. Actually, I guess I will. I wasn't going to because I have it dialed in pretty good right now, but I'll close it. So I closed it. And you can see the water level is rising. Kind of slow. We'll close it some more. There's a big snail that got caught. <laughs> there goes the bubble trap. Hopefully that won't affect um, the emergency drain. <laughs> okay, so we had a problem. I just tested this like uh, this morning and we were fine. But right now we are not fine, and here's why. Sorry, hopefully I don't fall off this stool. This is the top of my wet dry. <laughs> and now we're sucking air, because I don't have that dial back at all. Um, this is the top of my wet dry. The filter in there, I just have some, um, I don't know, white stuff like this no that's not that's like bubble wrap um, anyway it's a filter um, it is become clogged enough where it can't handle that much flow up there and it was coming up and over here I want to get rid of that filter altogether I've been listening to these podcasts on the talking reef I really like what they have to say and they're kind of um, anti mechanical filtration and I think they're starting to sell me on that. You just have to constantly change things. You know, get it set up the way you need to so that it's self-sustaining. And just like there, just because that filter was dirty. Oh, let me crank that back a little bit so we don't get so much noise. Because that filter was dirty, we could have had a flood down here. A lot of water would have gone out that line, but um, we still would have had a problem. Where if we didn't have that filter in place, um, we wouldn't have had a problem. I want to get rid of the wet dry all together, but we just don't have enough live rock and good enough protein skimming yet to do that. So we'll hold off on that. We're back at good levels now, going a little bit high. I'll crank this lever back a little bit. And that should drop. And just kind of hold steady there. So anyway, we're pretty good there. A few residual bubbles still getting out. Um, with the protein skimmer, instead of just going straight out and down. Um, I just have a tube in there right now going to the bottom. 
eventually I'll have it go all the way to that side. So then if we do have some micro bubbles, which we will, um, they're not right here next to the intake of the pump. Um, here's the protein skimmer. It's just a little guy. Counter current, I believe it's called. And we're sucking some good stuff there. It's not as brown as I'd like, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I don't really want to buy a $500 skimmer. Um, so, upstairs is the main problem right now. I basically want to do this kind of system upstairs, but there's not going to be a tank here. There's going to be, it's going to be all pipes instead of tanks. But the thought process is going to be the exact same. So we'll see how that turns out. Oh, we have some visitors. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This well, camera. My mom's. Oh. What are you guys doing? What's going to what are you doing down here, dear? I'm telling the internet all about the sump. Oh. And so, they are so impressed. Why are you not putting on the internet? Um, just for fun, because I had a lot of people post videos that really helped me out a lot. Okay. That's cool. So, so anyway, we're going to try to redo that upstairs, and we'll see how that goes. We, we won't go up there right now, because everyone's watching Olympics. Goodbye.